If you know me, if you have been following me, you know that I love Montal fragrances. I mean, like, I'm obsessed with them. They were one of the first niche houses that I have experienced. And seriously, I have not come across a lot of other niche fragrance houses that are at their level. I love them because they're not crazy expensive, they are long lasting and they project like a beast. And I also love the packaging of them. I mean, like, look, they're like grenade bombs. And all these 10 that I'm gonna show you are bombs. And these top 10 will get you noticed for sure. Here are my top 10 Montal fragrances. Number 10 is Tropical Wood. I hope that looks cool on camera. <laughs> okay, so the main notes you smell in this one. And yes, I'm using toilet paper to smell the fragrance on because my tester strips are on their way from AliExpress. Okay, so you really get the fresh wood. It's really fruity and you get a really fresh musk. Fruits, leather, a little bit of leather. The leather is, is on the background, but if you focus on it, if you know that there's leather in it, you smell it. And you also get some freshness of the rose. So it's fruity, fresh, sharp. It is sharp. A lot of Montal fragrances are a little bit sharp, mm, but it leans very feminine. I know that some guys are rocking this, but to me, it's very, very feminine. It's definitely a summer fragrance. I would suggest to the men that are wearing this, put Embroxen over it. I th then you're gonna make it a little bit more masculine. This fragrance have given me so many compliments from girls and men at work. Um, I use this a lot for the people who don't know me. I'm a personal trainer, so I wear this in the gym. So you're, uh, you're fresh and it's sharp. So it will cut through everyone else's fragrances or sweat. Ugh. This is a fragrance you can wear it all year round. It is strong enough for the cold. It's fresh enough for the summer. And the longevity on this one is really good is eight plus hours. Number nine is dark purple. Okay, so this is a really feminine fragrance. Also on this one, I can see a man wearing this. Ooh, it's fresh. I smell orange. You get a candy-like rose, musk, and you definitely smell the plum in this one. This is not a hard fragrance to pull off. It is a little bit... Mm, I wouldn't say it is designery, but it's also not so niche that it is hard to wear. So you can... For me, if I would recommend it to you, yeah, it's it's an easy blind buy for girls. I think a lot of girls will like this one. This one have given me a lot of compliments from guys. It's just, it is so easy, easy fragrance to wear. Also this one, you can wear it all year round. It is strong enough to hold in cold weathers, but this one suits better with high temperatures. Also a friend of mine had bought this one a girl and she's getting a lot of compliments with this one the longevity also is eight plus hours maybe even a bit more number eight is fantastic wood so this fragrance i'm gonna spray it on my hand because i've tested it on i i've tried it on paper and then you get a total different smell so if you're testing this one don't test it on paper try it on your skin because then you get a completely different smell fantastic wood try it on your skin Oh. oh, guys, really, this is a very masculine fragrance. I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I, I wear it unless you're a girl like me, who's a little bit tough. Am I tough? Kind of. I like to think of that myself. But normal girls, try it out for yourself first and then see if you can pull it off. Men, get it. Get it, get it, get it. It's sexy. It's really sexy. Okay, so the main things I smell is a fresh wood. Oud, I think it's oud. Fresh kind of a oud. You get the sweetness from the tobacco. Amped up by patchouli and leather. In the mid, you get also this smoky kind of an incense. It is a nice and easy oud to wear. It's not skanky at all. I have smelled this one on a man one time. And, oh God, it was so sexy on him. It is masculine, sexy, and sweet. This one will get you a lot of compliments. Really, it's, it's just amazing. Fantastic oud. This fragrance is best suited in fall, winter, and at night. 
the longevity on this one is 12 plus hours really stays the whole day that's what you get with montal all right number seven the blue beast blue amber <sighs> really this one fills the whole room <coughs> oh. you know i don't cough when i spray perfume because i can handle a lot if you know me i'm the over sprayer i'm the crazy one but this one oh this one is so strong I think, no, I know, this is the strongest fragrance in my collection. Okay, so the name says it already. The main thing you smell is amber, sweetened up by vanilla, and you also get a hint of patchouli, just a hint. This fragrance is perfectly unisex. It's good for a man, good for a woman, suits both. Oh, really guys, this fragrance is a bomb. You guys know that I'm an oversprayer, but really with this one, I can't overspray. I will make a spraying video with this one on my Instagram, but oh. I can't. I think I do five or seven. And that's already it's already too much, but I you know I like it. And sometimes I even put it put a ambroxan over it. I tried that once because my mom did it. This fragrance will stay the whole day. It projects the whole day. This is a sweet powdery amber. That's the best way how to describe it. It's like baby powder, a little bit of baby powder, but then toughened up. Because yeah. A man can wear it. It's not like it's not like really baby baby. Baby, baby, baby. baby oh. Not kidding. Fragrance is perfect for in the winter, outside, in the cold. Then this one is perfect. And with formal clothing, then this one would suit a guy really good. Yeah, formal no, also also a woman, actually. With high heels. Yeah. This is perfect for a guy outside, in the cold, formally clothed. I don't know if I say that good, you know, I'm I'm Dutch. Yeah, this guy would make a statement. Me, for me, on me, on. You know what I mean. So one time my mom wore this fragrance and uh, she came to pick me up from work. I work in a gym, a really big gym. My mom said she didn't overspray it and it was true. She sprayed four or five times. She put a, a lot of ambroxan over it, maybe six sprays. I don't know exactly what numbers she used, but she put on this one with Ambroxan to make it even more project. I didn't saw her when she was picking me up. I walked past by her. It was really, it was eight meters away. And then I got a whiff of a really nice smell. I was like, whoa, who smells so good in here? Because in a gym, no one smells, you know, so good. So I was like, who is it? And I was like, is it my mom? Is my mom here? Is she already here to pick me up? So I did a little bit this because I couldn't see it. It was like a one big thing in front of her. And I looked over. My mom's also tiny. It's really cute. We saw this. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, it's my mom that I smell from like six meters away. So I came towards her and I was like, mom, I literally smelled you when I was there. I didn't know you were here, but because I smelled you, I knew you were here. So this is beast, beast number one. Everybody's gonna smell you. Longevity on this one is, I don't know. I, I've tested it for 16 hours and then I, you know, I shower. But I think, no, nah, I, th I think this is 24 hours. If you don't shower, it won't come off. Come on off. If you don't shower, it won't come off. Speaking, try to speak, speak, speak normally. <coughs> The whole room here, really. I'm I'm so stupid. Sometimes I even misspray the paper. I'm like, oh shit, I need to do it again, else I can't smell it. But you have no idea how this room smells. Right, number six is red oud. Oh, my fucking finger, Jesus. The main note you smell in this one is orris root, that gives it this powdery lipsticky smell on this one. Wood, rose, and a creamy sandalwood. This fragrance is perfectly unisex. The smell, to me, it's amazing. The smell is just amazing. The things that I smell with this one is a lipstick cookie. <laughs> I don't know if you think that's sexy, but to me. <laughs> lipstick on a cookie that a really hot woman just took a bite of. And then the guy wanted to take a bite. Sounds that sexy? Sounds that good? I don't know. Okay, so when I smell this fragrance, I think 
I think about a rich person. The fragrance is really thick, warm and spicy. So rich, thick, warm, spicy. That's what I think of with this fragrance. This is not your typical rose oud fragrance that you smell. Really, it's totally different. It's really, it is the lipstick with a cookie. That's what you get. This is a weird fragrance. I, I really can't, ex can't explain it so good. Just that it's, it's really different. And this would be perfect for formal occasions. This fragrance is only good for fall and winter. Don't wear it anywhere else and only for, for formal occasions. Dressed up, outside, cold, cold weather. Yeah, and this one is also 10 plus or 16 plus hours. I don't know. Haven't tried it. I shower. I shower. Stop doing the tongue. Jesus. Okay, so the next one. Uh, wait a minute. Have you subscribed already to my channel? I mean, like, come on. Subscribe. I want you guys to follow me. I'm going to make here a really nice button that you know to subscribe. But click on the link down below. You know where to subscribe. You know where to subscribe. You know where the subscribe button is. All right? Find it. Click on it. Click on the bell. Subscribe to me. I think it was a little bit pathetic, but I hope you can laugh about it. All right. Number five. Oh, amazing. And really is amazing. Okay, this is spicy to my nose. To my nose. Okay, you get some fruits. I know that it is the fig and the grapes. You smell patchouli leaf, an earthy patchouli leaf, and oud and leather. But, but I know that the, that the nose can describe it as masculine. But to my nose, it leaves a little bit feminine. But a guy can pull it off easily because it's a darker kind of a fragrance. Yeah, perfectly unisex in my opinion. Just for guys, test it out on your skin. And women, if you like a little bit of a darker fragrance, for fragrance, uh, <laughs> my throat. You know that one from Shkira. Women, if you like a little bit of a darker fragrance, this is it. Yeah, this fragrance is best for night, nighttime, going out to a club. Then this one shines the most because you will be that dark and mysterious woman or man that they can pinpoint of like what is that girl or guy wearing they're not gonna know what it is and you're gonna cut through all the other fragrances easy to wear oud best for fall and winter and this fragrance stays 12 plus hours easily all right number four is patchouli leaves and the main notes you smell in this one is patchouli of course oh man okay you get a really dirty earthy patchouli with sweetened up by amber and vanilla but this fragrance is not too sweet oh i love patchouli 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 dirty patchouli ah this is a sexy dirty patchouli i love this one really this one is so sexy to me and definitely on a man although a woman can pull it off very easily but when i smell this fragrance I think about a very sexy guy. No, it doesn't matter who wears it. Also, on a woman, it's really sexy. Sexy on a man, sexy on a woman. Oh, this fragrance is best for colder months, fall and winter, and it will be a great signature scent in those days. Longevity on this one is 12 plus hours. Come on, like, all these Montal fragrances, they last so long. You don't have to worry about longevity with Montal. <sighs> I need coffee. I can't smell no more. Oh, no, I can this one is so strong. This one is the fantastic oud. Oh, man. Really, this whole top 10 is freaking amazing. I need to wait for the coffee machine. I'm bored. Oh, really, I'm a coffee addict. I'm going to tell you a funny story. You see this? I'm always the only one who wears a lot of lipstick and I always have this. One time at my work, it's in a fitness, as you know by now. You can't have like coffee on the floor, but I always do that because, hey, your girl needs coffee. But I forgot to put it away and uh, my empty glass was laying there. And then there was this woman who was fucking annoying. Always like, Michelle does this, Michelle does that. Always, fuck you if you're looking. So she told me, Michelle, you haven't cleaned up your glass. I was like, I've done that. I know that for sure. I haven't. I didn't. She's like, whose lipstick is this? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. 
You want to clean it up right now? Hey. So now when I put my glass away, I'm like. So they can't tell. Actually they can because I'm the only one who does that. Next fragrance is Intense Pepper. As you already know about, I've talked about it in my top 10 sexy summer for men. So if you haven't checked that video out, check it here. I hope I can edit that in because else it looks stupid. So if you have missed my top 10 summer for men, click here. Ooh, pepper. So the main note you get on this one is pepper, really intense pepper, lemon and cedar wood. Okay, this fragrance you can wear all year round. It's always good because you smell fresh and peppery. You know, fresh is always good. This fragrance is fresh, manly, pretty sexy as well, actually. I have had an amazing compliment with this one. Do you want to know what it is? I've already told you, you have to check my top 10 summer list. She gave me a compliment in a very flirty way. So this one will give you attention from the girls if you like it or not. Longevity on this one is eight to 10 hours. Again, maybe even longer. This one, if you spray this on your clothes, it won't come off. Number two is honey oud. And the main notes you smell in this one. I just, I need to do one spray. Jesus God, Michelle, why are you doing this? Oh, you get a really nice honey. Oud. Also oud. Oud is, oud is at the top. But it's not a dirty oud. It's really easy to wear. Honey, oud, cinnamon, vanilla and leather. It is sweet and spicy from the cinnamon and the vanilla. I remember when I first blind bought this, I wasn't happy with it, really. I needed to get used to it because I thought it, it would smell different. But now I really, I love it. And man, man, this is really sexy. Especially on a man, this is really sexy. If you're a girl like me, you can pull it off. If you're not a girl like me, stay away from this one. This is because it's, it's pretty manly. The best way to describe it is Victor and Wolf, Spice Bomb Extreme, but then like 10 times more niche and they put a lot of oud in it. Then you're getting this one. They're totally different. They are. Don't think like I buy this one, you get Victor and Wolf Spice Bomb. No, really listen. It's 10 times more niche and they've put more oud in it, but it's in the same category. Category? Category? It's in the same range of smell. Same, how do you say that? They have the same kind of a vibe. Uh -huh. They would be in the same genre. Oh, genre English, good, Michelle. This would be a great clubbing for the little... Godver. Every time when I get to the end, my mouth don't want to speak anymore. This would be a great clubbing fragrance to me, but then in winter, and trust me, at least you will get one compliment every time you wear this. It's really good. Really good for cold weather. Longevity on this one is 12 plus hours. I think you already know what number one is because it hasn't come in this list. And this one was pretty... There was a pretty big hype train on it. The hype was real. All right, number one is Intense Cafe. Maybe that's why I love coffee. I love this fragrance. I love coffee. Curly's in heaven. Hey, hey girl, hi. So the main notes you get in Intense Cafe, one spray this time. So this is like a nuclear bomb. Ah, oh, coffee. You really get coffee. Okay, so I really love the opening. You get coffee at the top, but unfortunately that fades away. But if you like that coffee at the top and you want it to stay, then you should get Ristretto Intense Cafe, but I don't have it. I like it also actually that it fades away a little bit. Okay, so you get coffee at the top, vanilla, fresh musk, and rose. Maybe even amber, but I'm not sure about that. But those are the main notes that you smell. Oh, amazing. This fragrance is in my top 10 most complimented fragrances. Every time I wear this, at least one compliment and at one day i had i think three or four in one day i've had a guy compliment me on this one he smelled me of course from far away you don't have to come close to me to smell me <laughs> but uh he said to me i said 
oh, Michelle, you smell really good today. He's like, what, what fragrance is that? I'm like, you don't know it because normal people only know designers. But I told him what it was, Montal Intense Cafe. And he was like, I, I need to get it from some for some girls because every girl needs to smell like that. That was the comment that he told me about this, about this perfume. But guys, don't think that it is overly feminine right now. It's not. I know a couple of guys who wore this and they get compliments on compliments on compliments. Because I think unisex kind of a fragrances and sometimes if a fragrance leans a little bit feminine, it can be really sexy on a guy. Don't let, let it scare you off if people say it leans feminine. If I think it doesn't smell good on a man, I would tell you. But this really smells good on a man. It is sexy on a man. I love it. It's sexy on a woman, sexy on a man. It is my number one from the top 10 Montals. It gets you a lot of compliments. Trust me, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, like my uncle wears this fragrance. He's known for the best smelling man in the bar. And all the girls love him. This fragrance, you have a really big bubble around you everybody is going to smell you it leaves a very nice central when you walk by people have described it this <laughs> so people have described this as a cafe latte and i understand that i totally get that but then with rose and musk in it so it is more of a fragrance it is i wouldn't say this is this is a this is a gourmand not really because of the rose and the musk in it that makes it more perfumey this fragrance is very good in colder weather and I would say also this one is a clubbing fragrance. You want compliments, you want to be different, you want to cut, like, you want to punch out all these Jean-Paul Cachet and One Million that people smell. Those two fragrances are strong, but trust me, this one will punch them out. It's a Montal. They can't beat you with Jean-Paul Cachet. They can't beat you with One Million. You will smell more sexy and stronger with this one. Jean-Paul Cachet clubbing fragrance? Nah. Nah. This is a clubbing fragrance. You want to have the best Montal out there that there is? Intense Café. Be like, oops, 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 Jean-Paul Cachet, fuck you, oops, 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 One Million, bomb. Oh wait, no one gonna smell better than you with intense cafe imagine you're the nose of a random person you're a nose it's like and i'll be like here dancing waving my hair boom you smell it and then if people smell this one they won't smell another person because this is the strongest they will only smell you longevity on this one is it won't come off. It won't. 16 plus hours. If I leave it in my hair, it stays for two days. So 24, 48. If you spray it in your hair or clothes, it won't come off. Get it. All right, guys. So these were my top 10 Montal fragrances. I hope you can find a Montal that you like in this list. Don't forget to like and subscribe because there are becoming more fragrance lists out there. Let me know what you want to see on this channel. Let me know what it what you want. Let me know what you want. Nah, Godverdomme man. Let me know what you want to see from me. And are you missing a Montal fragrance in this list? Let me know in the comments down below. See you guys on the next one with another top 10 list or whatever I'm gonna make. I don't know yet. If you got ideas, let me know. Bye bye.